Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Products Review. I am your host Mike. Please like and subscribe to the program coming in hot on the gram the hottest. That is stock talk underscore products review. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for helping us break 2600 subscribers. This show is growing, growing and we have the Papa John's, Twix, Bites. We're going to test these out on the show because on the show we test, test, test. We're always testing all the time. Uh, tomorrow, Kameo will be back on, and he will do the ghost pepper sandwich uh, from Popeye. So he'll he'll go and hit that one and let you know how that tastes. Now, some on Reddit are saying they want to hear before they want to see of so how some of the reviews are before they try it. So that is what we are here to do. We're going to knock this out, and lots of free stuff on the way, guys. Let me tell you, uh, lots of free stuff coming uh, from uh, influencer. Uh, there's packages coming from Timu, several things, because we're going to hold uh, people to account on products they send and everything, because that's what we do on this show. So this product comes at a non-economical price of $5.94 in American inflated dollars. Ingredients list on this is a fresh, pillowy dough with bits of Twix cookie bar rolled into one. You get eight shareable uh, served with dipping sauce available for a limited time. So you have your regular glaze right here, which we're gonna try, as you can see. And then you also have your dipping sauce, which is 50 cents extra. So, so you get eight pieces of dough bites filled with Twix. The caramel is obviously free with it, and the glaze is 50 cents extra, if you wanna pay. We're gonna open the glaze and we're gonna taste both and see. Uh, now going into it, let's just, uh, before we go and get the full effect, Let's just open this up and let's check out the Twix before we go and see it. So you can see in the inside. Check that out right there. Does that look good? I'm sure this is actually going to be good. It looks like it tastes good. Uh, let's try the whole effect first. Uh, we're going to dip more caramel sauce in there because we have to. Let's go and knock this bad boy out. Should have got a napkin here. And then we're going to shoot it with the glaze. The crust is good. I don't think any fast food pizza could pull this off the way they did. A um, couple burnt pieces on my end. That's okay, that's normal. Uh, came out a little burnt here and there at Papa John's. Shouldn't really serve burnt food, but we're still not going to be too critical because the dough does taste good and with the caramel. Uh, let's dip it again. Now, what I liked about it, the caramel sauce is excellent. One thing I'm disliking about this, there's not enough, there's not enough uh, cookie bar Twix in the actual dough bite. Look at that, it's freaking empty. So, uh, what I would improve on this product is I would add more Twix. Now we're gonna open another one up because on the show, like I said, we're not just gonna go into one and test, 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 we're always testing. But you need to put more Twix into this. Now the dough is excellent. Papa John's dough is always excellent. For a fast food pizza, they win hands down on mostly all fast food. Mom and pop shops, different story. Uh, Cause I've been to several New York pizzerias and they conquer all fast food pizzas. Uh, let's just be honest with ourselves. So let's taste the glaze. The glaze ain't bad. It's standard. Let's put these pieces away so we're not biased. Let's go to another one. The only thing is, is that you get this burnt piece of cookie bar, which we don't need to have. I believe this one's separated. Uh, they try to fill it in the middle, and maybe it's spilled out in the oven. I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. This this one's an epic fail right here. Uh, yeah, it just the, the 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 candy pieces on this are burning, so that's that's part of the problem. Is they're burning in the oven, and the caramel is gooing. You could see nobody wants to eat black tar, so that's going to lower it a star right there. Honest reviews, guys. I'm telling you, honest reviews. Nobody wants to eat black tar on their food, so let's give this another shot. Let's do it with the glaze this time, with the candy. 
It's gonna lower your star when you're in, when you have that like that. I need more candy to get a good thing. Your kids are gonna love it because they're gonna say this is full of sugar. Uh, definitely uh, improve with adding more candy bar and try getting it on the outside edge because that oven is just gonna to torch that every single time. Let's get the full effect with the cookie. I could have did a better job with sealing these. Overall, eight out of 10. Just because on my end in my store, I got burn marks on mine. Just an FYI corporate. Now let's mix the caramel together. The caramel is excellent. The caramel is the caramel goo is excellent. Hmm. Doesn't mix good with the other one though. Do not mix the two together. Tastes freaking like trash. So would I recommend getting this? Yeah, it's a decent snack. Is it if if they could add the cookie more if they could add the Twix cookie bar to the middle instead more to the middle instead of coming out and oozing out the side and burning it, that's what they need to improve on this because you cannot serve that. Nobody wants to eat that. That's just freaking crap. Okay? It, it's just crap and you can't have it. So when I go back with the kids and I have to go feed them this, I'm gonna have to scrape that crap off because I don't want my kids eating that crap. Uh, just because they, they're gonna think it's disgusting. Caramel sauce, excellent. To pay for the glaze, 50 cents, save the 50 cents. You, you don't need, you just can make, you can make your own glaze, guys, at home. You don't need to pay 50 cents for the glaze. In these, in these hard economic times, do not pay the 50 cents for the glaze. I'm just saving you money right here. Not worth the price. Uh, I just selected it because we have to do this. We spend the money too, so you don't have to. That's one of the models on the show. Isn't that great? Lots of companies are sending uh, products to review that are packages are on the way. So we appreciate your contributions and looking at the reviews and, uh, you know, giving your comments and feedback. We love your comments and feedback and subscriptions. Okay, guys, particulars on these one roll, 80 calories. Two grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, zero trans, zero cholesterol. Sodium is 105 milligrams of salt, 13 grams total carbohydrates, dietary fiber zero, sugar is four grams, and protein is two grams. Allergen information, milk, peanut, soy, and wheat. So there you have it on that. That is your nutritional information on that. Check them out today. Uh, become a member and you can get them right away. If you're not a member, you'll have to wait, but it's not hard to become a member because you, if you sign up for their program, they're going to give you a, a piece of the pie or a piece of the dough or whatever you call it. And uh, you're going to get yourself some free pizza if you sign up for the members uh, program. It's available members only. Anybody can become a member. So uh, check it out today. Uh, look out for tomorrow's video of uh, Kameo uh, trying that uh, chicken sandwich. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now!